watching Fox 6 News with Jim Patton and Heather Myers. Your station for balanced news. Now you can keep your gas guzzler and still save money at the pump, but beware the hidden cost that comes with a CNG conversion kit. And it's cheaper and cleaner than gas, so why is the government making it so hard to use in your car? With skyrocketing gas prices, some people are considering natural gas to run their cars. Compressed natural gas conversion kits, in fact, are gaining popularity. Fox 6 reporter Antonio Castellan helps you decide whether CNG is an option for you. Natural gas engine conversion kits are in demand. People are trying to figure out a way to save some bucks when going to the pump. But as we found out, getting your car converted to natural gas is not as easy as you think. Socorro Weathers drives a gas guzzler. One Philip is about $125. It's a good reason she's looking somewhere else for fuel. Conversion kits for natural gas. That's the cheapest I think that we can get right now is natural gas. Werner Funk shows off his 1962 Ford Ranchero. And then it feeds us through this control valve. The engine is CNG converted. A couple of tanks in the back demonstrate a car run not only by unleaded gas, but also natural gas. If I wanted to switch to gasoline right now, I would just flip the switch right here. The engine actually lasts longer because it's a cleaner burning fuel. And the savings? Uh, I would say that the savings would range from 40% to 60% over gasoline. Warner Funk also runs Omnitech, a worldwide distributor of CNG kits. The kits run between $2,500 to $10,000. We're inundated with calls. Every day we answer calls from people that are just tired of paying the high gas prices, just looking for a solution. But there's a catch to all of this. We don't have a product for them that is legal to use in the United States. The Environmental Protection Agency mandates all such conversion kits need certification. And the cost for that can run up to a quarter million dollars. We spend a lot of time talking about it, why this is like that and what we can do and how we can approach EPA or CARB to look at this with a different viewpoint. The EPA says this is all about the consumer and environment not getting hurt. We're ensuring that the consumers are not going to harm their engines and potentially harm the environment more so than a gasoline engine would. Funk doesn't buy it. We are looking at possibly the oil companies don't want to encourage the use of natural gas. The EPA disagrees. CNG conversions are not something that have anything to do with oil politics and again the the certification process is such to protect the consumer. All the regulations don't help Socorro Weathers. It's a lot of hoops that people have to go through, I think, and, and they make it absolutely almost impossible. I think they want to frustrate you so that you give up. Companies like Omnitech are hoping to lobby a bill with Congress that would make it much easier to convert gas engine cars to natural gas. The outlook of that happening, though, is very far from becoming a reality. Reporting in the studio, Antonio Castellan, Fox 6 News.